On today's episode, self-driving goes off-road in mining. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. With the skyrocketing demand for minerals driven by the change to electric vehicles, expansion of metals production, particularly lithium, copper, and nickel, is a global phenomenon. Large open pit operations are functioning worldwide, and in all, ore is hauled by very large purpose-built equipment. And although self-driving vehicle technology is currently under test in cities, autonomous haulage is no longer experimental in open pit mining. Phoenix-based Freeport McMoran, the world's largest molybdenum producer, mines molybdenum and copper at the company's Baghdad operation 100 miles northwest of Phoenix. The complex includes an 85,000 ton per day concentrator for copper and molybdenum and a solution extraction electro-winning operation making 9 million pounds of copper cathode annually. Ore is hauled by a fleet of 33 CAT 793 haul trucks, which the company is converting to autonomous operation using CAT's MindStar command self-driving system. The 793s are very large, carrying some 270 tons of ore per load. Large size lowers operating costs, and Freeport expects that self-driving will reduce idle time for lower greenhouse gas emissions and, crucially, be ready for electrification of the haulage fleet in the future. Baghdad will be the first copper mine in the United States to implement autonomous haulage. Caterpillar has delivered over 600 autonomous trucks, operating with 15 customers on three continents, with a combined fleet distance traveled of 143 million miles without an injury. But why mining for autonomous operation? Commercial ore deposits are frequently great distances from an available labor pool. And in many jurisdictions like the United States, experienced labor is expensive and must operate within strict safety rules mandated by federal agencies like OSHA and insurance carriers. Autonomous vehicles in machine-heavy industries like mining addresses the dual competitive challenges faced by many American corporations competing in global markets, labor shortages and high labor costs relative to offshore jurisdictions. And when combined with electric drive, the new technology should address increasing environmental concern about the carbon footprint of mineral extraction for electric vehicle battery materials. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.